Let's go. Let's get it. Uh, yeah. I'm not wearing a shirt today because I'm talking about a manly series. So why wear a shirt? Why would I let that shirt restrict my manliness? Either which ways. Uh, yeah. Today I'll be talking about my first impressions on the manga series Toriko. And, um... And I know Toriko have eggs over there being made, and I have bacon in the microwave already done. So, basically, yeah, let me give you a quick rundown of the uh, series as far as I can say so far. It's, I'm 50 chapters in. Um, so, basically, there's a group of gourmet hunters. They go around collecting the ingredients of uh, animals and, you know, the other things like that. And uh, they capture the ingredients, and they basically... Enjoy them for the sales, but also distri distribute them around the world. You know, uh, basically helps other people taste what they got. And uh, but you know, it always doesn't work out like that because you know, the gourmet hunters can't eat a lot of it. But uh, either which ways, the uh, public will get some of it. Either which ways, no matter how much they eat of it. So um, that's basically the rundown. And then out of those group of gourmet hunters, there are four people called the Four Heavenly Kings, which consist of. Uh, Zebra, Zebra, which we haven't met yet, I haven't met 50 chapters in, Coco, the poisonous, uh, legendary, you know, the Heavenly King, um, we have Sani, the fruity Heavenly King, and then we have Toriko, which is basically the headstrong main protagonist of this series. Um, so, let me tell you why I wasn't going to start this series. I wasn't going to start it, first of all, because of the hype surrounding it. A month, a couple months ago, there were so many people like talking about it that it was actually kind of sickening. Like I didn't want to even read it, I didn't want to hear it, I didn't want anything to do with that series. So I stayed away from it. Um, and then the other thing was, you know, hearing about it, the plot. I was like, it's about food. It's about collecting food. Why would I want to read a manga about collecting food? Um, but. Eventually, I, you know, gave it a chance, and one thing that surprised me is that I thought they'd just be walk going around the world collecting, you know, food from grocery markets and shit like that. I thought, I thought it was like a race to collect the most food from grocery markets, um, but I was very wrong. You know, there's capture beasts, you know, the, 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 you got a, the beast capture level, um, you have the dangerous animals such as the troll king, that uh, gorilla, I mean, not that gorilla, but the alligator, the Galala alligator. The battle wolf that becomes uh, Toriko's friend, his name is Terry, uh, her name's Terry, I don't know. And then we have the enemies of the series, the Bishu Kai, I believe the name is, but, uh, damn, Bishu Kai, I don't know really how to pronounce it, but basically they want to collect all the ingredients and keep them to themselves and not share anything, and they basically, their main target is stopping the, the four heavenly kings and the Bishu, you know, gourmet hunters. So, uh, we get pretty much introduced to them, I want to say, uh, 30, 30 chapters in, where Toriko and Komatsu are in, Toriko, Komatsu, and Koko are in, looking for the, uh, that massive whale, and the GT Robo shows up, and immediately they sense his presence, that they, he come the moment he comes out the water, they sense his presence, and they begin to, you know, create a defensive, uh, position, and they tell Komatsu to basically get out of there. Um, so the GT Robo has been basically the re recurring enemy to this point and uh, 50 chapters in. We have Stardrum, we've been uh, introduced to him, the vice captain of that Bishu Kai. And uh, we, I just got to the part where Toriko ate the jewel meat and came back and destroyed Stardrum's GT Robo. So, so far I'm loving this series. Uh, nothing bad I can say about it. Uh, pretty, nothing, you know, nothing special about the char uh, character Toriko yet. Just a, a ordinary shonen protagonist so far, and Komatsu. That's the only thing I don't like about the series. He can bitch a lot. I very, I, I'm very. I don't know where I sit with him. Like he can bitch a lot, but I also like his character sometimes. So hopefully he changes. I heard he doesn't, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I know I don't have a shirt on, but fuck it. I don't gotta do what I. I don't gotta do what you guys tell me. I can not wear a shirt in my review if I want to. Uh, fuck you. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'll be doing this early manly review. Because uh, I don't know if I want to do this for JoJo's or not. But, um, yeah, it feels good getting free on camera. But, uh, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you think about Toriko, the manga. And if you want to unsubscribe because I don't have a shirt on, 